Hey, I'm Jack, your native Bostonian guide. In this video, I'm going to give you five tips for going to Fenway Park. We have a Red Sox game at 1 o'clock. Let's go. And how are we going to get there? We're going to take the train. I strongly recommend taking the train. Do not drive to Fenway Park. That's a really bad idea. When we get over there, we'll find out how much it costs to park near Fenway Park. You're, it'll probably be more than your ticket. Take the train. You have two options. First, you can take the green line, the MBTA, or what we call the T, to Kenmore Square or to Fenway Station. Take the green line, strong recommendation. Or what I'm doing today is taking the purple line from Stell Station over to the new Lansdowne Station. It used to be called Yaki Way, they just renamed it Lansdowne. That's going to drop me off right in front of Fenway Park and I'm just going to be a quick stroll right to Gate A. So hey, let's go. Train leaves in just a few minutes. That's Stell Station. I got to go across the street. Come on. Before you get to Stell Station, be sure to download the M Ticket app from the MBTA. Here you can buy your ticket for the train, which from Stell Station over to Lansdowne Street is only 225 and you can also check the schedules. The train runs on a particular schedule from Cell Station. You want to check that schedule not only to get over to Fenway Park but to get back. There's not a lot of trains but when it does run this is by far the easiest way to get from say the financial district seaport area over to Fenway Park. We're taking it at 11:55 a.m. We're going to arrive at 12:06 PM, it's an 11 minute ride, so very easy. We are here on Lansdowne Street. Time to get something to eat. That's actually tip number two. Eat before you go to the park. There's a lot of places right around the park, great places. Uh, if you want to get a beer, which is very popular, uh, you can stop in and we'll show you some of those. And um, I'm going to go to Regina, actually, get a piece of pizza. But eat before you get in the park. In the park, kind of pricey to eat. <laughs> That's the best spot. Uh, did you want a water? And then uh, Coke's right in there. Okay. You pick out the one you want. On the left, it's one Great. or two, right on ice. Thank 13 you. total. All right. And I'm going to give you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, hang on. Oh, yep, sorry about go. that. Don't forget your coffee. Yep. Enjoy it. What Thank, are you guys you. Thank you. My pleasure. So, changed plans, went with the sausage. It, it was just too good to pass up and a much shorter walk, but there's a lot of options. Sausage and a Coke, 13 bucks. Expensive, but inside the park, even more so. If you want to sit down and have a nice dinner, uh, down Lansdowne Street, some great restaurants. You might try Bear Works. Cask and Flagon was a really popular place to stop in for a beer. There's Sal's Pizza. There's a lot of restaurants over on Boylston Street, there's b more restaurants. They tend to be bigger, more sit-down situation. A lot of options. Check it out. Don't forget Kenmore Square. A lot of restaurants down there, too. I'm literally just going to sit on this curbstone, watch the world go by, and have my sausage. One of my favorite places is Bleacher Bar, where you can actually go inside and eat under the bleachers and you get that great shot through the garage door onto the field. If you want that seat, you gotta get there really early before the game, but it's a great place to go in and just get a quick beer and enjoy that incredibly unique space right inside the stadium. Well, not actually inside the stadium, kinda like underneath the stadium. It's a great, great place. Don't miss it. Hey, tip three is to get over here behind Fenway Park on Van Ness Street and check out the teammate statue, the Yaskrimski statue, and the Ted Williams statue. Very popular to get your picture taken in front of those. Lots of fun. This is over by Gate B on Van Ness Street. Also, if you haven't yet gotten anything to eat outside yet, now's the time. Game time in uh, about 15 minutes, so we're going to go in.
in time for first pitch. Thank you. Yeah. Tip number four, where to sit. I bought this ticket for $27 in section 157, and that is incredibly below market price. I got really lucky on a day game in April, and just not a lot of people want to go to this particular game, so prices were much lower than normal. If you want to sit in the monster seats or the pavilion box, you're almost always going to pay a lot more than $27. You can even sit in the bleachers and pay a lot more than $27. The one place that I would not sit if I could avoid it would be sections 5 through 10. Sections 5 through 10 face directly to center field so that you have to crane your neck the entire game to see home plate to the left and it's very uncomfortable after nine innings. Other than that, any day at Fenway Park is a good day, so if you find yourself in section five through 10, just enjoy it and hey, enjoy the game all together. It's a great experience. And tip number five, what do you wear? Can you wear your gear from your other team? Well, sure you can. And if you do, you know, if you wear Yankee gear, watch out, because you might get a little friendly kidding. But otherwise than that, we respect that you're wearing somebody else's gear and you came to our park to wear it. So it might be a little bit fun, expect a little joke, but it's gonna be harmless, it's gonna be harmless. Hey, if you wear your Yankee gear to Fenway Park, you're in, you're cool. You're not gonna have a problem, don't worry about it. By the way, if you don't have any gear, you can hit any of the souvenir shops around the park or in the park to buy some Red Sox gear. You should wear something. Hey, I'm wearing my World Series hat today. You should definitely be representing. If you walk down to Kenmore Square after the game, be prepared for a big crowd, whether you're taking the green line or driving or getting your Uber, uh, Uber surge pricing for sure. Uh, I'm recommending that you hang out at the stadium for as long as possible and maybe catch a beer or a drink right at one of the places immediately across from the stadium or even part of the stadium like a uh, game on uh, and then come down here another 20, 25, 40 minutes later. Uh, you'll avoid the crowd for sure. And uh, hey, Red Sox won, 7-3, swept the Oakland A's and uh, maybe there's hope for this season. Hey, we'll see you next time. I'm Jack, your native Bostonian guide. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Two bucks here, five bucks inside. It's programs here, this is Boston Baseball.